And welcome back once again. We're in the kitchen magic of the Low Country Kitchen talking about, get this, super foods, vitamin rich and packed with nutrients. These foods should be in our daily diet. Kept, uh, best Kept Self is here showing us the easy ways of tasting these super foods. And Jesse Mayer is here to tell us more about this up and coming also health cleanse yes. that's going to be taking place a yes. little bit later on. Before mm -hmm. we get to that, tell us about what makes something a super food. So basically a superfood is something that's going to be pretty low in calories and mm -hmm. incredibly high in nutrition. Mm -hmm. And so in the in the time of day that we are now and a lot of people are kind of nutrient deficient, not really mm -hmm. eating as many vegetables as we should be, um, this is really where we can come in and use food as medicine and really get a good healthy dose of everything we need throughout the mm -hmm. day. And these are concentrated, right? These uh, except for a few because you've got your frozen bananas. Yep, I've got frozen too. bananas. Uh -huh. So basically these are whole foods. So I've got mm -hmm. spirulina here, which is a blue-green algae. Okay. And I've got uh, raw cacao powder here, which is basically chocolate in its raw form. So these okay. are whole foods here. Very it's condensed on very that chocolate. Yes. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Um, and so what I wanted to show everybody here was just two easy, really easy, really tasty ways to okay. use these superfoods. So I'm going to start with spirulina here. And like I said, this is a, a blue-green algae. So mm -hmm. it does taste a little bit like pond water. Mm -hmm. And so what we want to do is <laughs> negate that. Um, but uh, spirulina is incredibly high in protein, over 65% mm -hmm. protein. Wow. It has your omega-3 fatty acids in it, which are great for skin, hair, and nails. Mm -hmm. The spectrum of B vitamins, um, mm -hmm. A, B, C, and D. Um, so basically, there's nothing that this baby doesn't have, okay. so we just need to take, make it taste mm -hmm. a little bit better. Uh, yes. um, and so what I've started doing with it is just adding it to a little coconut juice. And mm -hmm. so this makes it, sweetens it up, kind of negates mm -hmm. that pond water taste that algae can have. And this is all natural coconut that is juice, all, that very is, low in sugar, it's, yeah. just, it's just, it's just mm -hmm. right out of the coconut. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, this is going to be a great post-workout drink for anybody getting okay. their workout on because mm -hmm. coconut water is so hydrating mm -hmm. and then this is so nutrient dense, it's just mm -hmm. a really fantastic fantastic combination. Okay. So you so poured your coconut I poured my coconut right juice into my little shaker uh -huh. cup. Got the little shaker in there. And there's a little bit left, so I'm going to have a taste of that while you're doing that. <laughs> and then uh, I'm just going to put one teaspoon of the mm. spirulina in there. Um, and a teaspoon's a great place to start. If you can work mm -hmm. your way up to two, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, make sure that's popped on there. Give this a good shake. Uh -huh. And I'll let you give that, because you did smell it earlier. Yes. And you noticed it wasn't great. Uh -huh. We're gonna, but, uh, we're gonna, we're we gonna shake it up with a little bit of that coconut water. It smells a lot better. Smells a lot better. Huh? That's fairly pleasant. You can drink that, right? Yeah, you that can is drink nice. that. Drink you can do water. that. Yeah, absolutely. That we mm. can do. And so um, the next thing I want to do with the old blender over here is make what we call nice cream. I'm not going to lift some weight. <laughs> it does have that effect. Uh, and we call this nice cream because it's non-dairy ice cream, mm -hmm. so we have no animals harmed in the making of this. And then secondly, we're using bananas instead of dairy, which is going to be a lot kinder on the body. A lot of people have some issues with mm -hmm. that, uh, with dairy. So I'm using um, just three halves, so one and a half whole, mm -hmm. or one and a half pieces of banana. I froze overnight. I'm going to pop those in the blender. I'm going to use two tablespoons of this raw cacao again so this mm -hmm. is chocolate in its original form okay. so all of the benefits of dark chocolate that you hear about that's going to be in here tenfold um, plus none of the mm -hmm. sugar um, none of the yucky stuff mm -hmm. um, just massive antioxidants magnesium zinc all okay. of the good stuff um, I usually put a little splash of water in here. I'm going to use this because we have it. Might as well do superfood on superfood. Okay. Um, I'm just going to put two tablespoons of whatever liquid you want to okay. use in there. Pack that up here. Oh, getting ready. Getting ready. Mm -hmm. Put mm -hmm. in the old Vitamix. Yep. Oop. And just give it a good blend. Basically, yeah. Um, if you have a little more time at home, you might want to mm -hmm. blend it up a little bit better. But okay. you can kind of see in here what we have is really oh, just yeah. akin to what looks like a chocolate ice cream. And then we'll, uh, well, again, blend it better at home, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen. But um, and then you give it a good scrape out, and then we've really got just a really great, super, super dense, very chocolatey chocolate ice cream. If you want to sweeten it up at all, oh, feel absolutely. free. I've got mm -hmm. my liquid stevia, that's my favorite mm -hmm. sweetener to use, but um, that's that.
How can folks get a hold of you, Jesse? Uh, bestkeptself.com. I am running a health mm -hmm. cleanse in July. Check it out there, bestkeptself.com backslash health cleanse. Cleanse yourself. Cleanse yourself. Thank you so much. Stay with us. We've got your favorite segment of Nashville News with Rick. Who? Rick Rush. He's in the studio in just a moment. Low Country Live. <laughs>